Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you stopping by. If you dig sneakers, you have come to the right place. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do a brand new video almost every single day. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And with that said, I'm, I'm pretty excited about these. It is an early look, which is always nice. So let's jump right in and let's buckets. You have any objections? I do not. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Air Jordan 3 UNC. These release March 7th and retail will be 190 bucks. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks R for us for tossing us a pair. Always appreciate them looking out. By the way, if you are local in the Tampa area, they just opened a second location in the West Shore Mall. So if you're in the Tampa area, definitely check them out. Otherwise, you can find them online. This is a sneaker though. I think a lot of people are gonna want them. I kind of hear people, see people talking about them. It is a Jordan 3. I feel like Carolina colorways are always pretty popular. And we also have March Madness, the NCAA tournament almost upon us. And this was basically a PE colorway and now they're giving it a more general release. Granted, it's not the same sneaker detail wise, but it is the same colorway. And whenever you have a colorway that is specifically a PE and then it does get that more general release for all of the public, I do think that that can add to the buzz and add to the hype. But with that said, how good are they really? Are they worth $190? I mean, at the end of the day, 190 bucks is still a lot of money and we get so many Jordan sneakers every week. There's a new pair basically, a new colorway. So how good is the Jordan 3 UNC. I like them. I'd give them seven and a half, eight out of 10. Buckets, what would you say? Seven. Okay, Buckets is a little lower than me. It's a pretty clean sneaker. I love the Jordan 3 in general, so maybe I'm a little bit biased. And I do think the UNC vibes look good on this silhouette. It's mostly a white sneaker, as you can see. Pretty standard Jordan 3 leather as far as quality goes. Elephant print front and back. Carolina hit around the heel. Carolina eyelets with a little navy in there as well. And as subtle as they are, I think the navy hits really are a good look on this sneaker. Double embroidered jump man on the tongue, navy jump man on the back. And for some reason, I really like the outsole with the gray, the Carolina, the navy. I don't know, it kind of just brings everything together. And like I said, it's just a clean sneaker. This is a pair I might keep on ice until the summertime. I don't normally say this, but this does feel like a summertime colorway to me. In general, I do prefer the darker colored threes just because it's a sneaker I usually end up wearing a lot. They are so wearable. If you tune in regularly, then you know I'm a huge fan of the Jordan 3. We've gone through several pairs of the black cement threes, just for example. We have a pair from 2001 hanging in the rafters down here at the workshop, a sneaker relic, if you will. Definitely not wearable at this point, but the Jordan 3, it's just such a beautiful sneaker. That's the point that I'm trying to make here. I am a little worried about this particular pair staying clean, especially around the ankle with it being all white on the interior like that. The potential to get filthy is pretty high, especially if you're wearing them a lot. And I think this is a colorway that's gonna look best 
when it's really crisp, really new looking, whereas a pair like the Black Cements, they almost look better a little beat up. This pair, I feel like you're gonna have to keep them pretty icy. So it's not my favorite Jordan of the year or anything like that, but I do like them a lot more than the typical Jordan Retro. I saw pairs were selling for 300 bucks or more at the moment. I'd expect that to come down after they release because after all, this is still early. So those are my thoughts on them. How good are they? Seven and a half, eight out of 10. I think they're good. I don't think they're phenomenal. I don't think they're gonna blow your mind, but it is a really clean colorway. And if you're a fan of the Jordan 3, then I think you're gonna love them. But let us know how you feel. How do you feel about the Jordan 3 in general? How do you feel about this colorway specifically? Who are you picking in March Madness to win it all? Does UNC have a shot? They've struggled this year a little bit, but however you feel about basketball, about sneakers, about, tell us what you ate for lunch. Tell us what is going through your mind right now. Buckets, you tell us what's going through your mind right now. I want you to hurry up. There it is. We will be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We will have a brand new sneaker for your head top. I'm we're trying. We're trying to get our hands on those Travis Scott SBs. So stay tuned. That video will definitely be coming, whether it be tomorrow or in a few days. So stay tuned. I got nothing else. Adios.